Welcome to another episode of the Kin Seed series, and in case you missed the ending of the previous episode, this is actually part two to what I recorded in the previous week. Sorry if you heard me hit the mic. <laughs> um, but yes, last week I way over recorded, uh, and so I had to split it in half. Um, and if you thought the ending sounded kind of strange last episode, it was because I was recording when everyone else in the house was asleep. And this place doesn't have those magical things called doors. So I had to be very quiet when I recorded it, so that's why that might have sounded a little different than normal. So anyway, we're going to be jumping back into town where we're meeting a bunch of people. Um, so I hope you guys have enjoyed it and let's jump into it. I don't remember your name. Come back. Ignatius, that's why. What is it? What's that you say? Will I drown, man? My ma'am passed away years ago. Oh, you're from Willowdown Farm. Never heard of it. <laughs> Probably just because you can't hear. Uh, uh, blueberries. Oh my god. <laughs> How'd you know I like such a thing? I did it. I was going purely on which ones I had more of. <laughs> Gossip. I seem to recall something about fun flowers and afternoons, but I can't remember. Oh yes, we need to be interacting with these. Get all these monument stones. Ooh, there's a note in that house and a book in both those houses. All right, what's, oh, this one's got lots of books. Okay. <gasps> Evergreen, okay. Beware, beware, I have returned from the uncanny realms of the Fae to tell of wonders and dangers, so heed this humble poet's words. There have been those who have called me mad, but perhaps, and perhaps they are right, but what sane mind can walk among the twisted boughs of evergreen and return with its sanity intact? I have seen mossmen, dryads, pucks, and green children flitting in the shadows or dancing under bizarre canopies. Ethereal music drafts fr drifts from the fey pipes and warraps itself around every rock and plant makes trees shimmer to its chilling rhythm. Do not be fooled by the tranquility and beauty you will encounter at first sight. The vibrant autumn colors of bushes that cluster the path, the intoxic intoxicating air, the opening sweet soft melodies of that music. Step further into the realm, away from the home of the Fey denizens, and it soon becomes discordant. Strange totems spit shimmering water into silent pools, and stone faces watch from the undergrowth. And all the while, you'll begin to lose yourself, begin to find a reason in the whispers that would bargain away your soul. Yes, you will be tempted and enraptured by all that you see and hear there, but you may not be as lucky as I and escape to tell your tale. So take care to remember this. The lips of the Fae deliver only a poisoned kiss. Ooh. Wow. Placeholder books. Necessary or just waffle? By a musing named author. <laughs> or amusingly. Sometimes in life you just have to smile. You could be walking along, collecting stuff, enjoying the music of the world when you come across a book like this one. Upon reading it, you may expect some juicy gossip or interesting lore, but no, the text explains how such a book is not written yet, and then goes on and on about it. Is it a waste of the reader's time? Yes. Is it a bad thing? No. As long as they smile at the end of the text and realize they are part of some crazy fourth wall development thing, then the effort was worth it. You can now go back to streaming or whatever. Whatever that is. Haha! <laughs> I am not streaming! I am recording! I did almost hit the start stream uh, button on accident though when I started. Smithies swear by awful stench and often keep one on their bench. But the blacksmith here hates them. It's either here or in one of the other areas. One of the blacksmiths around <laughs> doesn't like. Don't forget to use the thatter way. No worries. Unless they're going to point at map stones. I don't think I need them quite yet. 
Okay, we've got a primrose thing. Grave lilac scares the living dead and puts strange visions in your head. So, illusion, probably. So there's two more here. Um, hello? This is new. This doesn't sound at all the same as it was when you would stand on it before. Interesting. It's a little, like, less jarring and there's, like, voices and stuff in it. A note. How did we get this last time? I know I struggled. Is it from here? Yes. In the gardens of mellow fields, lettuce grows in great big yields. I can already feel this is gonna be a long episode. Don't think you guys mind though. Betty. Hello, duck egg. I wouldn't hang around our farm if I were you. My Warzel's got a thing about trespassers. He also has got a thing about passerbys, ramblers, hikers, visitors, and well-wishers. Other than that, he's a lovely bloke, honest. <laughs> uh, yep. She's neutral, so no gossip for us. Any secret notes over here? Mapstone? Ah, uh, yes. Hello, sir. Event discovered as traveling trader. Uh, in the village, every second and ninth day of the season, at Druida's Cross, the first and the eighth. Be sure to catch me for some CD deals. Yes, thank you. Not that I can buy anything. What is that? <gasps> A mysterious item. That's how we get to Tirnanog. Ooh, okay. Spicy clucking soup. I need money. Whoa, you're young. <laughs> All right, I think it's been a long time since I've seen him young. Well, you look healthy enough, I suppose, but you never know when you might suddenly find yourself in an acute surplus of blood or an unforeseen miasmic condition. This, just keep honoring Druida and you shouldn't need my services much. I would hope not. Uh, all right. And then Lemmy, is that you? No, I think that might be Lemmy. This is Boots. Okay. Ah, welcome, welcome. Another potential victim of the curses and ailments that simple folk often stubble head on, headlong into. We are the best in the Vale and the only ones in the Vale. I'm running out of stuff to give people. Fine. Friendship up. Gossip. Ash Brown's birthday. I haven't seen Ash yet. Hello, that away. Thank you. Wow, there's so many things. And they look different. Uh, Goods Market takes place on the 3rd and 10th day of the month at the calendar. Lost Pig Market at Druidae at... Add. I love that that's how you can add stuff to the calendar. Well, well, so you're the one of them whippersnappers old Bill took in. Done a lot of business with the well down farm over the years we have. Sickle spades, more spades, various other irony things. If Jeremy can forge it, I can flog it. I uh, have an apple. Guess it. Give info about item fish of many fingers here with rating one. Can you not have a fish with lots of fingers? I'd appreciate it. Hello? Oh, I've heard all about you. News travels fast around here. About the only thing that does. Uh, we think... We like to take things slowly, see? But if you need something made at my forge, I won't keep you waiting. And if there's anything you want from our shop, just ask Je Jeffrey. I hammer him, he hawks him. An apple, gossip. No, don't tell me about tickling Tom Hookfingers. No one wants to know about him. Can I have a strawberry? Thanks, guys. Something to gift people. Oh, a pickaxe! Uncover precious ore within rocks. Do not use it on your nose. Thanks. I was so tempted before, but I shall keep myself from doing so. Ooh, sneaky note. Bluefish always know their place in Millifield's rivers. They show their face. I feel like they should be growing some, like, herbs out here. But I guess there isn't really any that we grow yet. Mind if I have some apples? Alright, fine, you can keep them. I want to be able to use my fairy path so badly. I have mapped the region. Hey, that wasn't too bad. 
All right. Um, I guess we might as well head up and then home. Book. If you're reading this, then you've likely purchased your own smithing. I haven't. All right, we're in Northgate. I think that's like a shortcut, but I kind of want to try to find map stones and stuff, so... We won't take the shortcut. Got Lucy's thing. Hello! I see you have some books. This is about uh, brownies and fae. The four shrines. Throughout Quill are four shrines. The end. Oh, you want more. Uh, each one is dedicated to the four seasons. We have the spring shine, shrine, <laughs> spring shrine, summer shrine, autumn shrine, and the winter. Each shrine only opens in its corresponding season. Are you joking? More writing required. Not made of quills. Within the hollowed walls, it is said to be six pillars, each representing a goddess. It is also said that each pillar hosts challenges laid down by the goddesses for some unknown purpose. The champion of the challenges would sure be gain a great reward, though not many have the skill to try. Most people are just lazy, probably. Can I go nap now? Hmm, I don't know where the shrines are or if they're in. Well, I wonder if that would be what was uh, being designed next to the greens. I might pop over and see. Just in case. From all year round and in the morn, little basil le leaves are born. Got a statue. Ooh, it's got a little belly swirl now. This is where we've been told not to go. Dang it. No map stone. Map the region. A. Hey! Wonder if we'll get. Oh, feeling sleepy. I wonder if we'll get dating locations or if we have to be of a dating age before we can figure out where they would be good date spots. Right. Uh, I suppose we might need to talk to... Uh, oh, not father. Uh, Bill? Uncle Bill? Well done. I can see... You can use the bucket for a bunch of purposes. Go try it out. That thing will store more than just plain old water. I know it got milk and honey. A letter. From Lucy. Our friendship means a lot. Open. Strawberries. Thanks. Is that the only one? All right. I feel like we increased our friendship with other people, but maybe not. Run brass to collect. Hey, father. Er, Uncle Bill. We need to start planting the seeds. You can buy seeds from the goods market on the Festival Green to the south of the village center. The market is there on the third and tenth day of the season. Here's three brass to go get some seeds. Thanks. I will not be doing that. Um, not until next episode. What I want to do is just, I'm curious to go see if the uh, structure has changed into something next to the greens and the browns house. Ah, land fish! It's been so long! I guess these ones are specifically bridge fish. Ooh, it's hot! Look, at everything's all woobly. Just like I was like, is there something wrong with my eyeballs? <laughs> no, it's just warm. It's more of a thing, but it's still blocked off. Okay. That's all I wanted to know. I'll talk to you guys all at a different time. Because this episode is getting long. I can tell. So, let's go stand over here. Beautiful. So I hope you guys have enjoyed this episode. We've gotten to meet all of the... I see that note. I'm not going to pick it up because... No, no, this is going to save. So, uh, we've talked to a good number of people. Gotten to know them once again. Gotten to read some new stuff. Uh, some old stuff. Learned birthdays. Accidentally found a birthday. That was good. I was so lucky. So I hope you guys have enjoyed this episode. And until next time, I hope you have a wonderful day.